I know that you were in a lively debate in the breakout area, but obviously that's not being shared with your Facebook viewers. And now it's, uh, I, I, I would uh, kindly ask you that in uh, 15 minutes, we can complete uh, the conclusions of your discussions right now, that we at 11.30 or 10.30 Lisbon time, we start now the next uh, panel with uh, Prof, uh, Dr. Hui from Infarmed. Gerard, all yours. Okay, well, I mean, we've had some really, really good discussions. I think there is a lot of thought process behind and, 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 and it's clear that I think everyone feels a sense of urgency to, to change and to, to make a significant difference. Um, you know, one of the positive things that I see is that we sort of know what the problems are and that, that they are self-inflicted. And definitely the talent is there and the know-how to make it happen. And, uh, you know, I, I guess a key takeaway is that really is going to take all of us to sort of little by little push this, you know, one step at a time forward and, and make sure that we touch the, the hot buttons and the key enablers with our government officials and the different companies that are involved in this and in us as citizens to make this happen. Because one thing is for sure, we cannot get hit again and be this unprepared. I mean, as they say in the States, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on, <laughs> well, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And, uh, and the, the second time, it just cannot happen. We it's need to be prepared. Happen. Definitely. Maybe, maybe uh, I, I can um, ask Ricardo Gil Santos to share a view on uh, how health data can improve hospital performance. Yeah, of course. I, I already show my, I already share my slides and my broader vision in the in the breakout. Here, I will just uh, have the the floor to to share some uh, some principles. I think that the discussion was very very interesting, and and uh, I think that we we remain with two main conclusions. The first one is. If if uh, if healthcare practitioners don't see the value on health data, they will not be with us uh, as we are not uh, as well as the consumers in uh, in the journey to improve that data quality, to improve data flow between institutions, and to get to the next level. There is uh, the data is not inside the the is each institution, but is flowing with the citizen. But I think that we cannot wait for that to start to, 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 to show the value to the healthcare protection. So in link to the strategy that we follow is we start with the operation side of this advanced analytics introduction and adoption in, in inside healthcare uh, institutions. So uh, if we look to inventory management, if we look to operation room uh, uh, management, if we look to all the operations uh, hospital health, the operations are the most complex uh, in the in by by miles in the in the whole industries. If we look to retail, if we look to automotive um, industry, the problems they have they have to solve are much more easier to solve, and the, the tools they have to solve it are much more powerful than the, the tools available in the healthcare. So, in link, the strategy is advanced analytics to solve uh, operations uh, management problems in the first place, and then the, the people will see the value, institutions will see the value, the physicians, the nurses, the technical staff will see the value, and then we are together in a journey where the data quality, where data exchange between uh, institutions will be much more easier to implement and we are not waiting for that to start to see the value. And uh, there are wonderful uh, examples of how we can do it. Uh, I, I shared some, one, some of them in, 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 in the stream. I think that uh, when, when we talk about operation theater, I, I always I am as fascinated about that topic because we have a tremendous waiting list we have the capacity in the, in the operation room, uh, but we need a, a new perspective, a new way of, uh, of scaling, a new way of management of the operation room, not with the traditional tools, with the empirical knowledge that is very valid, of course, but the, the advanced analytics topic there is completely life-changing in the way the uh, hospitals are performing. Fantastic, fantastic, Ricardo. And maybe uh, Joaquin Cunha, you can also share briefly the, the projects that you are working in terms of the healthcare cluster. You have to unmute yourself. No. 
Ah, okay. Now. Okay. Just a, a brief comment, uh, Joaquin Cunha, because I understand that you were making the presentation in the other side, and unfortunately, we are running out of time. It was not okay. Okay. Let, 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 let's go. Let's go without without slides and. Yes. yes. And, okay. Uh, let, for, for for the health cluster Portugal, uh, our view uh, and we, we made recently uh, uh, um, uh, a strategic analysis uh, uh, with with, uh, with trying to, to design a view for for this decade for this uh, and uh, of course digitalization and data uh, uh, arise, rises uh, uh, as the major the major the major challenges for 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 the, for, for the next times. These are. are, are Based on the major the major trends, uh, where the, the 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 use of technology, uh, 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 combining with the centering in the patient, must 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 be balanced. Uh, and so so uh, I would say that for for us for 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 the next 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 uh, next next times. Uh, uh, we are very, very focused on first on the value-based healthcare. Uh, again, as I mentioned in, in the talk, we we are having in, in the in the other room. Uh, I, I don't. I, I wonder why 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 uh, the the health the health uh, uh, tribe or the health world uh, delayed so 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 many times. Uh, to to think uh, in in a value based in a value based way, uh, it, it, it's amazing why we we, we 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 do not think yet in that sense. So, so we, we we are we are on the field uh, in a project in a, involving the the major uh, private and and public Portuguese hospitals on ophthalmology. Uh, uh, it's a, 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 a nice project with some delay during this month for, for, for the reasons that all, all, all of you know. But we, we think we could, we could uh, start again in perhaps ne ne next month. Uh, uh, and we, will, we, we hope to have um, interesting, interesting figures uh, very shortly. Uh, another, uh, yes. another yeah, yes, sorry? To conclude, Joaquin, yes. Okay, okay. Just to uh, conclude. Okay, okay. Just, just to conclude. Uh, um, another important aspect are, are those related to what we call smart health. Uh, we are now uh, uh, running a, a subcluster inside Health Cluster Portugal called the, the Smart Health Network. Uh, it's a way of joining the, 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 the technologies with devices. Uh, in order to, to have more uh, products and more than products to have answers to specific uh, questions and needs uh, on the field. And, and third, and to conclude, we are, we are very, very focused on what we call a, a data lake project. Uh, it, it's, it's a big challenge that, that we are working on uh, still, still uh, still uh, on the preparation of it, but uh, we hope that um, in a short time we could announce it uh, properly because uh, for us it's it's a, a mobilizing a mobilizing project. Thank you. Fantastic, Joaquin Cunha. Thank you so much. Just yeah. to remind you the two things that uh, uh, Joana Feijó is also going to present something later on in Innovation Village, so we yeah. have more interaction there. And uh, Gabriel uh, Guimbra, I'm not sure if he's uh, still... Oh, okay, Gabriel, concluding comments until 11.30. Yeah, okay, now very quickly. Now, thank you for uh, inviting um, me and, and just to, to share some comments of the discussion we, we had. Basically, well, what, I, what, I, what I saw, I'm not a healthcare specialist, but what I saw was really uh, that we took a 10-year uh, digital leap in just four weeks. Uh, in every sector, uh, so we we saw uh, companies from financial sector, uh, retail, uh, manufacturing, moving, uh, working from home, creating new digital channels. The e-commerce sales jumped more than a hundred percent, and 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 I think this is an opportunity and for all uh, sectors, especially healthcare, um, because. 
we we have now a different mindset and we understand that uh, data and digital are key but i am I'm, I'm a little bit concerned uh, with with uh, what i see in the the healthcare uh, industry as as a user and as a uh, outsider uh, because uh, when i see companies really creating value from data they have to be able to manage data the, the flow of data from uh, outside in and inside out to make sure that in example in, uh, in the healthcare industry hospitals patients uh, government institutions doctors nurses they need to share the information all the machines need to share information and and i, I really don't see this flow uh, uh, within countries so we look we we i think we are doing a great job and the professionals are doing a great job with with they with what they have but if we could ha have a better flow of data between all entities inside one country and the most important is to have the flow of data uh, between countries in Europe we could really create uh, an Europe that could be trusted uh, and other countries would be able to share data with us and we'll be able to really be this uh, trusted region, trusted Europe, where we, we could um, really create value and create new opportunities for, for our society and our economy. But I don't see it now. I see, I see a lot of challenges, uh, in, especially in the, in the healthcare uh, sector, uh, very complex. I have been, I, I did some research around it a few years ago, and I have been following from the outside, uh, but I think it will, it will be challenging. But at least this this situation will make us uh, really move fast because we need. Thank you so much, uh, Gabriel Quimbra, and I'm eager to work more closely with IDC on following up the conclusions here of this Health Data Forum. I am sure that there will be uh, very very good opportunities for us to go in depth in the discussions, and of course, your research focus is very very useful. Thank you all for being here, dear panelists. Um,